This is a short course on Dynamic Chat Node. Dynamic Chat Node is a prompt node. Goal-based conversation feature of YellowG is achieved using this node. Goal-based conversation is one of the key features of YellowG, a generative AI-powered automation solution. With this feature, bot can have a very natural and human-like dialogues with the customers. It helps in complex decision-making and provide a more tailored responses based on the scenarios. It can help enterprises provide custom solutions to their end customers with responsive and contextual interactions. The node uses a large language model. By default we are using GPT for large language model. You can add any LLM account and use it with this node. For efficient functioning of the node, we need to write effective prompts. Dynamic Chat Node offers generative AI-powered prompt generator, which makes it easy for anybody to write prompts. The primary elements of the prompt generator are goals, use cases, fallback, and user inputs. Under goals, you define the role of the virtual assistant and the apparent goal of the conversation. For example, if you are writing a prompt for a sales executive, which also is the role, who is working for a reputed car dealer, you need to define what is the goal of the sales executive. A sales executive's goal is to sell cars highlighting the key features of each model available. Next, discuss the scenarios or use cases the sales executive would go through while interactive with the customer. For example, sales executive has to showcase the unique features of the car, interior, exterior, safety features, different model available and price of each model. Next, describe the fallback actions. What if the customer is not interested in the models? Try to convince the customer with various offers and discounts. If interested, request to share which model he will be interested in. Collect the customer details like name, email ID, and phone number. Finally, add the inputs that will be captured from the customer, generate prompt with above details. Generative AI Pilot will also prompt for improvement and list a few suggestions. Optionally these suggestions can be selected and added to the prompt. Thus, making the prompts more efficient. Before you add prompts to the node you can still edit the prompts and add to node. Let's explore the other settings under the dynamic chat node. First up we have input list. As you know prompts can be written to ask users to provide some data based on the use case we deal with. To store the user data we can add the input names and the variables to store the value. You can mask inputs if the data is sensitive. To enhance the accuracy of detecting the correct input we can add regular expressions and also add examples of expected input. For example, if the expected input is a PAN number, we can write a regular expression to validate the PAN number format. Provide one or two sample PAN numbers as examples. Second settings are the failure settings. The settings need to be enabled first. Under these settings we can add custom failure message, timeout value, max limit of conversations, and restrict ill formatted responses to avoid any unformatted response from LLMs. Next, skills workflow. Skills are workflows that can be linked to goals and used as and when needed by goal. These workflows run in the background while the control stays in the dynamic chat node. The workflow can call functions, execute APIs, perform database operations, trigger user events, perform document search and many more actions. The workflow can also include logical branching and integration nodes. The model understands the context of the skill, based on the description of the workflow. Adding skills to dynamic chat nodes make the goal-based conversations more and more smart and more powerful. Consider a use case of tours and travels. You have written goals and prompts for travels. In the process customer might want to know the weather condition of the location he is planning to travel. A skills workflow can be built that calls a weather API to check the weather condition of the location shared, i in this case you can call the skills workflow by passing the location as input and return the weather condition of the location. Based on the weather condition of the location travel plans can be made. Next settings that we have is the goal configuration settings. The goal configuration settings adjustment define how creative or deterministic the output could be. 
or how random the response could be and total number of tokens model generates. Temperature settings enable us to control randomness. The temperature range is from 0 to 2. As the temperature approaches 0, the model will become deterministic and repetitive. The model will use the token with highest probability. With higher settings the output becomes more creative and diverse. It will start using the tokens with lower and lower probability. For example, consider the statement, India is. With temperature set to zero the token with highest probability could be, India is a country. The response will be same every time. As you increase the temperature the statement varies such as, India is a country in Southeast Asia, India is seventh largest country by area, and more. The next settings is top P. The top P settings defines the probability of selecting the next token. Assume there are n probable tokens sorted from highest to lowest. Top P picks the top tokens based on the sum of their probability. Top P is often used to eliminate the least probable tokens. If you set top P to 1, that is, 100%, you mean to pick top tokens with some of 100% probability. Let's consider the above example, India is. Let us assume we have set the top P to 0.3. Consider the following probable tokens, a country with 20% probability is the largest democratic nation in the world, with 15% probability, is a country in Southeast Asia, with a 10% probability, is seventh largest country by area, with a 5% probability, and is a culturally diverse country, with 3% probability. In this instance, the model will only consider the first two tokens and ignore the rest 70%. The maximum length is the total number of tokens the model is allowed to generate. This setting is useful since it allows users to manage the length of the model's response, preventing overly long or irrelevant responses. It also helps control cost. The last settings is the LLM model configuration. You can select a LLM model account. Or add additional LLM model account and select the related LLM models from the list. To add a LLM account provide an account name, select the LLM provider and enter the API key. The dynamic chat node also provides an option to save the prompt. Every time you make some changes in the prompt and save it, a new version is saved. Multiple versions of the prompt can be saved. At any point of time, you can check the different versions and if required you can restore a specific version back to the prompt. This is very helpful when you want to revert back to previous best working prompt. You can also maximize the prompt text box and get a better view of the content. Now that you have understood how to configure the dynamic chat node, next let's see a demo of dynamic chat node. Here we have written a prompt for an automobile company. The virtual assistant is playing the role of a sales executive. His goal is to sell a newly launched SUV. His task is to highlight the key features of the model. Respond back to customer queries with the valid information. 